Hey, 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 my beautiful people. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. How are you spending your Sunday today? What are you up to? What are you doing? See, um, I am actually attempting to be a little chill mode this Sunday. Um, I don't even have my contacts in. Um, giving my eyes a rest from the contacts. Yesterday I planned out the two weeks of school schedule for Stinker Butt so we can plan because, um, my God, I'm sorry, you guys. I swear to y'all, I was more focused when I was thinking about creating this video than I am right now. I feel like I'm more unfocused right now while I'm doing the video than I was when I was thinking about the video and I was more focused. But, um, I sat down yesterday and I created the schedule for Lyrical. Um, because her live classes are starting tomorrow. And we have to make sure that we're, we don't miss them because we have to be there at the time that they are. And then still take the classes that she takes on a daily basis. Um that are based on, you know, whenever she wants to take them, like whenever, but we do it during the day. Um, hold on, I feel like I got something. I feel like I'm seeing something on my eyelash and it's bothering me. All right, I think that's it. Um, I didn't know the sun was gonna be that darn bright on me but uh yeah so i did this two weeks worth of schedule because i also have to take into consideration the pt and any doctor's appointments that we have like she's going to the dentist on friday delano's going to the dentist on wednesday and i gotta take that into consideration when i'm doing the schedule because then that means that while i'm doing Delano's appointment, Beba is going to be the one that is going to sit down and do class with her. So I got to make sure that she knows what time that she's going to be in live class and what other classes to do, you know, and when to do it to make it easier and smooth for her. And then whatever classes Lyrical I know has a harder time with, those are the ones that I leave for when I know I'm going to be around so I can do them with her. Um... So I got to make sure, I, you know, I planned it out yesterday so that we can have an easy transition. And this way, Lyrical won't struggle and then I won't get frustrated and I won't get frustrated. Um, But I really just wanted to stop by and see how you guys were doing, what you guys were up to. I, instead of doing my planning today like I usually do, I did it yesterday because I really just wanted to do nothing today since this week is going to be hectic because after I sat there and I did the whole schedule I'm like wow it's going to be a lot you know that we have to do because she's got a lot of live classes so it's like we got used to these classes and doing them you know what I'm saying sporadically here or there or back to back and taking some you know brain breaks here or there but now with the live classes we got to make sure that we're on our A's and our P's and our Q's and all that other shit so um it's going to be, like, hectic until we get used to taking live classes. So I'm ready for it. That's why I wanted today to be, like, a down day. But we do got to clean up, too. Because um, at the end of the clip, you're going to see I recorded the kids in the room. So y'all going to see the room it needs to be tidied up. Um, they were playing around. They were horsing around. So I figured I would record it so y'all could see them horsing around. I like to see when the kids are playing and having fun, like, it makes me smile because despite everything that we are going through and despite having no food or limited with things, we we still smile. You know, we don't let it hold us down. And sometimes it may put us into a little depression here or there, but we try not to let us keep us there. We try to take out, get out of that depression as soon as we can and just find a way to push forward and keep doing what we got to do. If I can find more clients, I would be, like, in a better financial situation. But I haven't been pushing my coaching business that much because of my darn teeth. Like, I'm not comfortable with it, with 
my teeth right now and the dentist keeps canceling the darn appointment so i can't get them pulled out so i can get my dentures sized like it's just a one obstacle after another obstacle after another obstacle but it's patience it's teaching me patience patience can't do nothing about it but be patient but um, if I was able to find more clients and really was on my let's find more clients game, like, you know, go, we would be in a better place financially than we are right now. But what's really stopping me is I feel like people don't take me serious once they see this. Like, why would I want to go work with her? And then... I'm already vocal about my story and what I go through and my trials and my tribulations and things like that. And then you take like, come on, I need this dentist to get it together. Like every time I have my appointment coming up, it always gets canceled because of an emergency or a sickness always never fails this is like the fourth time or the fifth time it's been canceled and it's so frustrating because it's the only doctor in the area that can put me to sleep and do it and because of my anxiety i can't stay awake for that amount of teeth to be pulled out even if they say come do half now and half later my anxiety wouldn't be able to let me do that because then I already know what I'm going to, the pain and all that I'm going to go through and, yeah. And it's frustrating because it's like I'm trying to do what I need to do. Which is get these teeth done so then I can get back on my A game and back on advertising myself and back on trying to find clients and, but, pray for me y'all because I need so some type of breakthrough i i need some type of breakthrough i really do this fly needs to leave me alone i really do need some type of breakthrough like for real but i'm not allowing it to depress me and i'm happy about that like i'm really not allowing this depression to take over i got a couple of other things that are bothering me and nagging me and frustrating me but i'm not allowing myself to fall into a depression i'm trying to cope and work with it and then i'm taking this training with coach Chazar, and he does these pq reps throughout the day that he has us practice and if they they've kind of helped me um not fall into the depression i feel like even though I'm not doing them how I'm supposed to be doing them, when I am doing them, I feel like they actually are helping me. Especially as I'm starting to realize that I'm getting negative thoughts. If this fly don't leave my cup of coffee to fuck alone, if I feel like I'm starting to get negative thoughts, I'll stop and I'll do a PQ rep. I'll have a conversation with myself and be like, Lynette, chill out, cut it out. We're not going to go there. Stop going dark. Stop going negative. You don't always have to jump the gun. Like... I be more kind to myself, more gentle and patient with myself than I usually am. Because normally, I'd be like, bitch, get it together. Get your fucking act together. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, get the fuck up. Like, I'd be cruel to myself and I'd be harsh to myself. And taking this train and I realized, like, I had a problem. My mother used to talk to me like that. So why am I talking to myself like that? Like, if I had a problem with her speaking to me like that, why am I speaking to myself like that? Like, I should not be speaking to myself that way. So I started being more kind and gentle to myself when I started taking this training. And 
I feel like I've gained a lot more patience with myself. Um, and, I, and it's helped me grow up a little bit more. You know, with, with myself, at least especially. Which is what's helping for me not to end up in, like, a deep depression. Because, like, right now, money is really tight. Like, really tight. We had three days of, like, no food. We were eating chicken in a can and trying to figure out how to make meals out of it. Like, because that's all we had. Like, it, it, yeah, we were really, like, my food stamps haven't come in. I don't know what's going on with that. I need to wait till Monday because I couldn't find my worker's number. And then when my case manager called, she couldn't find it either. So now Monday we're going to call and figure out what's going on with that. Like, it's not much, but they do help the little bit I get. Like, I need it. And I'm trying not to let, like, anything else stress me out outside. I'm trying to learn to just, like... go back to using my roadblocks as the steps to get out of my dark space and to get out of out of the hole that I'm in. But I didn't really want much of anything. I wanted to check up on y'all and I wanted to, you know, see how you guys were spending your Sunday. Hopefully you're pouring back into yourself. Hopefully you're doing some self-care, some self-love. Hopefully you're resetting on this Sunday, you know, getting ready for your work week so that you can show up and show out. You know what I'm saying? Not let it drag you or drain you. Like, be prepared for your actual work week. Plan it out. Like, you know, if you actually know how hectic your week is going to be, then take today to calmly reset yourself. So that you can start Monday fresh and, you know, calm, cool, collective and at your best. At your best so that the rest of the week you can show up at your, with your best. You know, that's the, that's the least that we can do is try to show up at our best. Show up and show out and give it all that we got. You know, sometimes we get burned out and that happens. It's okay. Like, it, we're human beings. It happens. It's life. You know, but... Don't let others dictate how you show up. Don't let situations dictate how you show up. Don't let your frustration or your stress level dictate how you show up. You dictate how you show up, all right? Make sure you pour back into yourself always, okay? Always pour back into yourself because you need it. You can't keep running on an empty tank. You're not going to get nowhere. You're not going to accomplish anything. But um, if you don't got this far to the video, I hope you enjoy watching the kids playing around and little one just talking and like always trying to steal the spotlight she loves the camera but um be blessed y'all don't forget to hit that like button and thank you so much for watching <laughs> say hi hi it's a video so to me and my mom and my aunt's we all just woke up. No, we didn't. We've been up for like two and a half <laughs> hours now. <laughs> uh, I'm been up since seven o'clock. Girl, been up. Yeah, I checked the time when I got up and you were so before that. We've we been up actually longer than that. Oh, oh, he's up so late. On the weekend, we get up late, right? Yeah. We sleep later because during the week we get up at seven. But I get up in the morning so late. <sighs> my sister is trying to test my hair. I'm trying to pull it. No. Um. Oh, wow. Jake! What? Trying to hug me and mom. Yeah! Well, give me a break until I don't know how.
Sorry, guys. Wait. <laughs> like the it has iron in it. Stand that. Please. Does it have iron in it, Bill? Hmm? Does it have iron in it? Get yeah. angry, Ben! Tom's <laughs> away. Sorry. Ooh, Tom. Don't fall now. Oh, you do? But, but camera back on you. So, watch this. you're done um yeah okay so you want to say bye 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 like comment and subscribe 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 to every of our channels why not ours <laughs> subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like don't forget to like and comment subscribe. and share